All right, what's up, guys? So I'm here with Ali in the building. Hey, um, Ali is originally from Tracy, and she moved to San Diego. San Diego, <laughs> and that's what we're currently at right now. Um, and today we're ta we're going to be talking about fitness. We're going to be talking about muscle body awareness and also the mindset of going into the gym. And last thing but not least, we're going to be talking about getting out of your comfort zone. What does it mean to get out of your comfort zone and how do you get out of your comfort zone? You, so. you shoot videos in the, in the street. Boom! That's how you get out of your comfort zone. You get swole. Yeah, yeah you shoot videos in the street. You shoot videos. Well, tell them a little bit about yourself and how you got into doing fitness and everything. So I got into fitness. Um, about three years ago, seriously, when I moved to San Diego, I didn't have a lot of friends. So I passed a lot of the time in the gym, um, got picked up by a bikini competition coach who was convinced that I could compete. And then I started training and yeah. 20 weeks later, I was on stage and mm -hmm. made it happen. Made it happen. So. And uh, what do you feel like the biggest thing as far as like mindset? Um, with mindset is you just have to get out of your own way. Honestly, like if you decide that you want to do fitness, like make that decision and you have to just be all in with it. Mm -hmm. um, every day counts, every workout counts, mm -hmm. all your meals, everything. You have to be very, very focused on the little details yeah. and don't be so focused on the end result. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the day to day. Mm -hmm. So if, you're, if I'm doing a show and I'm only thinking about the show, mm -hmm. what happens to the entire process leading up to it? The show's only, I'm only on stage for 15 seconds. Yeah. If I don't love the process, then what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, we were just talking about like and enjoying the process. And that applies to everything. That's, yeah, that everything applies to life. everything in life. A hundred percent. You would say the biggest thing is like being present to the moment in the workout, and every single step counts. Everything. Yeah. Every single step that you're Intention. taking. Intention. Intention. Okay. Intention. Cool. Let's talk about like you getting out of your comfort zone. You you obviously you said you just jumped up. We were talking about how you just jumped up and you just decided to move to San Diego. Yeah. Um, how's yeah. life shifted for you after that? Because like, honestly, that's a big it, move. It, it starts to feel like everything just falls into place when mm. you follow the thing that speaks to you. Like mm -hmm. I don't know why San Diego seemed like a good idea. It was just like it's really nice. Just hi. hi because I want to give you this in case you're interested next time. Okay. Middle of the video. <laughs> Middle of the video. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Too weird. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. so when you're following the thing that you feel like you're meant to be doing, mm -hmm. other things just kind of click and it starts to feel like, whoa, like this is just really crazy good luck, but it's mm -hmm. not. It's because you're following your purpose and your passion. Yeah. So. Yeah, and, and the, that's the biggest thing is, a, is alignment. When you're aligned with all the things in your life, when you yeah. decide, okay, um, you had the thought and you wanted to make that happen and you decide just to take that step then every single other steps after that will eventually follow but you have to be willing to take that what first step yeah first step is key yeah let's talk about passion okay because I'm a passionate person you seem passionate yeah you know, like passion yes. just flows out of your body um, how did you know this was your passion was it was like was it like love at first sight or was, no. it, was it built Fuck out no. time? yeah like dieting and treating my ass <laughs> off love at first sight no it's the first um, time <laughs> no it was horrible at first yeah. like I wanted to quit all the time but something mm -hmm. something told me not to and I just kept okay. pushing mm -hmm. and I did it and I remember being like I don't think I can compete and then I remember like yeah. it was almost like I blacked out and then I was picking out my bikini that mm -hmm. I was gonna wear on stage mm -hmm. and I was just like, okay, cool, we're doing this. And I had this like sparkly bikini and then I got on stage and that's when I fell in love. I was like, whoa, I feel confident, I feel strong, I feel empowered. And then I was just like, when can I do this again? So what's, what's some tips you could give to women in order to shape up their body? Cause I know like, it's different for men and yeah, for women when it comes to, to like- don't be scared to lift weights. Don't be scared to lift weights. Don't be scared to lift weights. That's how you build weights. muscle. Don't just do cardio. Yeah. So, and you have to eat. Is that the biggest thing? You have to eat. How many meals do you eat a day? Six. 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 Does that help you like burn fat? What does that What does yeah. that do for you? Yeah, I mean, you want to go for lean proteins, vegetables. Mm -hmm. What is that? Like, so you can't eat salads all day. No, you have to eat like, like once, chicken and fish. Once or twice a day, you can't yeah, just eat salads. Yeah, I had some steak today. Yeah. So five to six meals. Well, I mean, Small meals. Small just meals. for like your everyday like chick, do you do you still tell her to eat like five to six meals or? Uh, it's good for your metabolism. Your metabolism will be firing like that if you're eating consistently like every couple hours. Okay. I understand that most people is an adjustment. Mm -hmm. At least make sure you eat breakfast. Like that's first and foremost so important. You have yeah. to eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, and then at least like three meals and then you can start making yeah. those meals smaller and then eating more frequently. 
So just typically, what, what's like a breakfast that you eat? Breakfast that I eat would be um, like oatmeal, oatmeal. egg whites. Instant and oatmeal or like regular oats? Regular oats. Okay, cool, cool. I yeah. eat instant oatmeal. It's terrible. Either, either, whatever. No, it's, it's just cool. not like the maple sugar or whatever. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, busted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, so you say just that like you eat more than the average person and that way you burn more fat. Like why do you do that? Because it just, like I said, it helps with your metabolism. So you'll, you'll burn stuff faster okay. if you're not eating consistently. Mm -hmm. Because when you don't eat consistently, your body goes, okay, I don't know when you're going to feed me again, so I'm going to hold on to this as fat. Yeah, yeah. When you and feed your body more consistently, it's like, okay, it's cool. We can just, you know, keep, keep moving along. Ooh. Yeah. All right, guys. That, and then I wanted to talk about muscle body awareness before we go. Uh, muscle body awareness, so like when you're working out, what do you focus on? Like when you go into the gym, do you have a workout partner? Or do you focus on like a certain squeeze? Or you're like, oh, I gotta get that squeeze. Or like, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, so I don't have a workout partner typically. Sometimes I do, but usually it's just me. I kind mm. of prefer it that way. She's um, an introverted working out person. Yeah, like I have these on and it's kind of like, yeah, don't, don't, don't talk don't to me face. Them. You don't even know if they have music coming Yeah, out. she They're probably doesn't have music. Probably she just not. has her beats on. You don't even <laughs> they're a great tactic though um, yeah. yeah i got the white ones so they're like flashier yeah, yeah, yeah. they look nice um actually. yeah so i have my workouts on a sheet i know what i'm going to do mm. oh before. you have a plan before you go in yeah okay. i have i have all my workouts planned before i even get into the gym they're mm. on my phone and i go through it and i focus on mind to muscle connection exactly that so if i'm doing something that's glute focused like mm. when i'm at the top of the, the motion i'm like okay squeeze and that's what i focus on Cool. And I also think about like when I'm gonna be on stage, what that's gonna look like if mm. I execute the workout with 110% effort, mm. and if I execute it with anything less than that, mm. and I picture me on stage looking less than perfect, and then that gives me the fuel to push further. Love it. Always gives you that extra, Love that it. extra edge. And and do you work out like? Cause I know there's some people, some dudes, some women. Who work out because they like they don't love themselves and they feel like the more fit they get the more they like it's not an if then thing yeah you have to love yourself first like and realize that you're enough first that you're a legit fitness model but do you still see things that you feel like you could work on and like oh my god all the I time can, right i can pick myself apart all day every day all day but every day i still day. love myself and i still know that i'm beautiful regardless so when it I'm comes in the process. when it comes to working out it's an endless process yeah it's continuous you just enjoy it can be a masterpiece and a work in progress simultaneously yeah. Uh, top top three books that you read. Top three spot. books. Boom. The Slide Edge. Slide Edge. I'm gonna read that. How to win friends and influence people. Woohoo! She hit it on the nose. That one, right? Yeah. That's, okay. That's a must, guys. Um, My favorite book. And I just read Code of the Extraordinary Mind. Also Boom. Read. We're out. Tell them where they can follow you at. Uh, at Ali Romer on Instagram and Alexander Romer.